Okay, YouTube world, we left off right here in the edit area of Adobe Illustrator. This is 2023 version. Today is October 20 or October 31, 2022. And we're going to take a look at this and see if we can continue where we left off. I'm just not going to make the videos too long for each video. So we're going to go through all the steps one at a time. And that way you can go work along with me if you wish. Okay, we're in the edit mode now. Zooming into details. Next you'll enlarge your view of the artwork to move two small figures closer together. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's move this over because we're going to work on this one, right? Look at this, see? So select the zoom tool in the toolbar. If you see a hand tool, press and hold on the hand tool and then select the zoom tool. Well, let's see, where is that? Click on this little question mark and it shows you right here. There's hand and there's zoom zoom tool see so if I click on the zoom tool then that's what I look at that it has the plus sign you see a little plus sign means zoom all right so where oh here they are okay yep so move the cursor over the small figures in the artwork press and hold to zoom in okay Oops. Oop, 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 oop. Let me see, I want to move that. Oops. Move that over. Okay, let's go back to the hand. Which you, there are ways to do that, but we're going to move that over. Then we're going to go back to the zoom tool. Then we're going to press. There we go. Press and hold the button down the left button and it will zoom okay go to the hand and move it over go back to the zoom tool and that's where we are so <coughs> select the selection tool and drag one of the figures closer to the other the selection tool is way up on top oh see which one they want they want that want the first one on the top so if you click on this it'll show you the first one way on top I click on that click on one of the items and move it closer to the other item like that and then select the zoom tool again to zoom out press option for the Mac OS or Alt for Windows and then press and hold so let's see what right so you go back here click on this and then let's see alt see there we go uh, let's see I want to unselect the person select Oops, select, deselect, there. That's how I like to do that. All right, so there we go. That's how to do, how you do that. Okay, now these lessons are right in here. This is how they, you know, you can learn. You can learn this. It's not that hard. Um, as long as you're able to, you know, have a system to do, run it. So, exploring the properties panel. So that's what we want to do next. So the properties panel is a central location where you can access various settings and controls related to the task you're performing. So from the menus above, choose view fit artboard in window to see the whole poster. Click on show location, right? So you have view 
fit artboard in window. Okay, now select the selection tool and click on the sun, the circle. So we're going to click on the selection tool, which is the one on the top, which is right here in this image, right? Click on that, and then you have that, and then click on the sun, right? Click on the circle. And when you click on an item, this is most important that people have to remember. When you click on an item like this right here, that means the information the program has on the screen relates to what you clicked on. Okay? It's not going to relate to these little people here or this other part of the screen or the words down here. It's going to relate to what you clicked on and what you clicked on will be is called highlighted you have it highlighted so this is what the program information is going to relate to and in this case right it's looking at the program the properties part of the image so look in the properties panel on the right and you'll see options for the selected artwork right <clears throat> so I click on this artwork and this is the properties for that artwork because that's what I clicked on. And that's, that's how all programs work. It'll relate to what you're actually doing. It's okay, don't make it complicated. And I have to tell myself the same thing. So you'll see options for the selected artwork such as size, position, and color. Towards the bottom, click on the Arrange button and choose Send Backward from the drop down menu. Okay, so we're going to click on location, right? And toward the bottom, click on the arrange button and choose send backward. I believe I have to move this down. Yes, that is correct. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little circle. I'm going to move it down here. Right, and then I'm going to click on Arrange, and then which one they want me to choose, Send Backward. So we're going to send backward that item right there. Uh-oh, it didn't go nowhere. From the drop-down, let's try it again, let me see. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know why I didn't do it from there. Oh, it did do it. Look. Oh, it didn't do it on this part of the image, but it did it on this part. See how it's behind this? But it's not behind this part. That's interesting. Hmm, I wonder why. So it is behind that one. Okay. And which is what they did here. Because they have two of these. If I click in the middle... I bring it over here, it's behind this one as well. Just like what they have in the image. Okay. Alright. So that's what that is. Alright, baby steps. <laughs> there you go. So we will pick up uh, the next step in the next video. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Peace out.